Nextcloud and OwnCloud, two giants in the self-hosted cloud space. But in 2025, which one should you choose? In this quick comparison, we will break down their differences, pros, cons, and help you decide what is the best for your needs. Background. Both projects actually share the same roots. OwnCloud launched in 2010, but in 2016, its founder forked it and created Nextcloud. Since then, the two have taken different paths. While both offer secure file sharing, collaboration, and self-hosting, they have evolved in very distinct ways. Core differences. Nextcloud is fully open source. All its core and most of its apps are under open licenses. OwnCloud, on the other hand, offers a community edition, but saves many advanced features for its enterprise plan. In 2025, Nextcloud has leaned heavily into collaboration tools, including video calls, calendars, document editing, and even email, making it a true alternative to Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. OwnCloud, meanwhile, has doubled down performance with OwnCloud Infinity scale. A complete rewrite using Go instead of PHP, it's faster, more modern, and optimized for file handling, but less mature in terms of app ecosystem, performance, and user interface. In terms of performance, OnCloud Infinity Scale has the edge. It handles large file transfers and user loads better. Thanks to its Go backend, Nextcloud, while PHP-based, is highly optimized but may need tuning for large deployments. User interface-wise, Nextcloud wins. It's modern, responsive, and feels polished across devices. OwnCloud's interface is functional but still catching up in visual appeal and UX fluidity. App ecosystem and features. Nextcloud's app store is massive, with apps for password managers, project boards, notes, mail, contacts, and more. It's ideal for small teams or individuals who want a full digital workspace. OwnCloud is more focused. It's great for pure file storage and compliance-heavy environments, but lacks the breadth of plug-and-play features Nextcloud offers. Ideal use cases. So who should use what in 2025? Choose OnCloud if you are a large organization focused on performance, scalability, and advanced enterprise features like file firewall and ransomware protection. Choose Nextcloud if you want an all-in-one workspace, care about open source freedom, and prefer a rich ecosystem. Conclusion now, in conclusion, both platforms are fantastic. It really comes down to your priorities, features versus performance, community versus enterprise. And now let me know down below in the comments which one you prefer and why. And that's all for this video. Please support us with like and subscribe and see you in a new video.